Some people ask the question of what good is math? What is the relationship between math and physics? Well, sometimes math leads, sometimes physics leads, sometimes they come together because, of course, there's a use for the mathematics. For example, in the 1600s, Isaac Newton asked a simple question. If an apple falls, then does the moon also fall? Isaac Newton said yes. The moon falls because of the inverse square law, so does an apple. He had a unified theory of the heavens, but he didn't have the mathematics to solve the falling moon problem. So what did he do? He invented calculus. So calculus is a direct consequence of solving the falling moon problem. In fact, when you learn calculus for the first time, what is the first thing you do? The first thing you do with calculus is you calculate the motion of falling bodies, which is exactly how Newton calculated the falling moon, which opened up celestial mechanics. So here's a situation where math and physics were almost co-joined like, like Siamese twins, born together for a very practical question, how do you calculate the motion of celestial bodies?